Hey, John Cristana here, and in this video, I'm gonna go over how to sell anything to anyone. Now, I've been doing marketing for about 10 years now, and I've worked in hundreds of different niches, marketing hundreds of different products to many different types of people, and I've been able to consistently become successful doing so. And I'm gonna go over my three tricks that I've used to be able to sell anything to anyone on the internet. Let's get it. Hey, John Cristana here. So the three tricks to selling anything to anyone is number one, take time to get to know your audience. And I'm gonna be going over this in detail. Number two is see how your competition is doing it. Very important, understanding what the competition is doing is going to really do most of the legwork for us in sales. And number three is appealing to emotions instead of appealing to logic. So first off, you need to take time to get to know your audience of who you're selling to. Duh, okay? This is one of the reasons why it is so important to talk to the end user. Talk to the customers in your niche. Most marketers just try to pitch stuff without ever listening to the marketplace. Now, if you listen, the marketplace, the customers, the users in that market will tell you exactly what they want to buy. They'll tell you why, you know, other lawn mowers just don't cut it for them. Or they'll tell you why other make money online programs just don't work for them. They'll tell you why about everything. Spend time in Facebook groups and forums and reading reviews on Amazon of similar products, specifically negative reviews, to figure out what customers want. Now, furthermore, connect with these people through social media, wherever you can find them. You know, on Amazon, you get names of people. Hit them up on LinkedIn, hit them up on Facebook, hit them up on Twitter, hit them up on Instagram, and ask them questions about what pains, what problems they have with the current products they're using that they want to move away from. Secondly, ask them what pleasures they want to move towards. Now, an example of that is, you know, I use this product Soylent, these five a day shakes that it's some Silicon Valley tech company. They have all the vitamins and minerals and health and nutrition in five shakes of these a day. Now, I ordered a bunch of these and they solve a big problem for me. One is that they don't take any time to prepare. I just put them in the fridge. Two is that they don't go bad if not refrigerated which is a problem for me in my house because my wife and my kids take up so much space in the refrigerator, I can't always keep everything in there. And number three is that, again, they're quick to prepare. I don't have to go down and mix uh, five different things together, I just grab and go. And they have a variety of flavors, which makes me happy so I'm not drinking the same old, you know, keto protein shake every single day which is what I had been doing, drinking the same old shake every single day. So this solves a big problem for me. Those are very specific problems, but in turn, I've bought thousands of dollars worth of these shakes. They don't need to be in a refrigerator, which saves me a lot of space. So that's an example of getting to know the specific pain points that customers have with specific products. As long as you listen before you speak, you'll beat the competition because the competition most of the time is not listening. Know your customers better than anybody else knows them. Now, the second tip in selling anything to anyone is see how your competition is doing it. I've heard some like self-help gurus and whatnot talk about how don't worry about the competition. That's horrible advice. By studying the competition, you can get strategies that are already working and you just apply them. By studying those strategies, you can get results like what your competitors are getting exactly. And that's all I've done in my business and marketing is literally copy the competition and apply it for myself. And that's how I've been able to do so well at marketing. I haven't been innovative. I haven't been creative. I haven't done anything illegal. I've just taken marketing that works and apply it literally word for word. And there's nothing copyrighted about a good ad. By finding holes in your competition strategy too, 
you can exploit those and, and steal market share from the competitors. This is what I've done. You know, I remember back in 2017, I saw that there was nobody advertising on YouTube except this one guy, Ty Lopez. And I said, maybe there's room for other people. And I started putting up mad ads online and I didn't even do my ads any different than his. I just copied his same format of ads and applied it with my own stories, with my own words, with my own face, and it worked. No creativity, just application. And what you can do is you can even partner up with your competitors as well. You know, as I've been building up my online educational business, I've partnered with all of my competitors and we promote each other. So I've used my competitors, I've used the market share my competitors have gained and marketed right to those people with their permission and I pay my competitors out. I actually getting their customers for me. So there's a lot of ways you can utilize your competition. Again, that's the first place I look and then I destroy my competition and go above them and innovate and find new competition. The third tip for selling anything to anyone is appealing to emotions instead of logic. So marketers are used to rattling off lists of 101 reasons why you should buy from them. But the truth is, there's probably one reason that's most important to the prospect. Now, I'll give you an example from my educational course, Super Affiliate System. Many people will say, well, you know, people want to take my course because they want to make more money, right? That's the broad thing you might think of. But really, there's usually one reason why people want to take my training course. And it's not for more money. It's because they believe that through taking my training course, they will learn affiliate marketing and then they will learn paid advertising and they will make money. And when they make money, that will allow them to spend more time with their kids or spend more time with their sick mother who lives in another state that doesn't have good internet access. That's usually the real reason. It's they want to spend more time with their kids or they don't want to feel a sense of guilt that as a mom, they are not able to be there for their children and they don't want to repeat the same mistake their parents made in not being able to spend enough time with them when they were sad, you know, when they were young growing up. It gets super specific if you really get down to the core reasons why people decide to buy. And it's totally emotional. And once you find out what that one reason is for people, you will, selling things is so much easier because you find that hot button and you just jump up and down on it all day because that is the reason that people will buy and you just talk about it over and over and over again because most advertisements will not focus on that person's specific hot button, but you can as a salesperson and you can use that to just win. But you only do this by actually empathizing with the end user. You only do this by two ears, one mouth, by asking questions and listening empathetically or if you're using something like Facebook Messenger to talk to people, you're only getting this by actually letting them speak. Again, asking, typing questions and seeing, and letting them talk and hearing what their pain points are. And the way you do this is you focus more on the problems and the pain points that the person has rather than focusing on the features or the benefits of the actual product. The users will make the buy decision for you, but they'll back it up with logic. So that's the reason why you always want to give people logical reasons to purchase your product. People will buy with emotion, but back it up with logic. Woo! So I hope that helped you learn a little bit about selling, which is something I'm very passionate about because this is a major field. Selling is the only way you really make money in this life. So you gotta get out there and do it. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you slam the subscribe button, hit the like. And if you have any questions for me, I check questions the first 24 hours a video is released. So type them down in the chat below. 
or just join our Monday live streams, which are Ask Me Anything. Okay, every Monday in the morning, I do an AMA and you can ask me questions there. Also, if you want to continue the discussion about marketing and sales and online entrepreneurship, join our Discord forum. We have a Discord forum or a Discord chat channel. The link is down in the description where you can chat and talk with other people who are looking into becoming online entrepreneurs, learning marketing, learning sales, and trying to generally just earn extra income for themselves. So we have a lot of people who are doing it, looking for you to be one of those and uh, you know, hopefully help change your life. And thank you for watching. Have a good day.